So this is the new wire clamp I've designed and it can be 3D printed quite easily. It does not need any supports. It uh, prints already assembled. Uh, only thing you have to do is insert this little wire in here which serves as a bus wire to connect all the wires in the clamp. And there is a lever like this which allows you to open it and you can position the wires in and out and then lock it again with the same lever and yeah another cool trick uh, which can be done with this design is that when you use longer bus wire instead of this one you can actually solder it right to the circuit board and use it like terminal for your board if you I don't know prototyping something and need a terminal quickly you can use it and it works just the same way as if you use it in standalone manner and you can simply in insert the wires and click it and you have a reliable connection directly to your PC board and now I will show you how to assemble it when it, it's printed it uh, looks like this it, it prints laying like this on the bed and it comes out and the two pieces are kind of fused together so it takes a little bit of wiggling to get them apart you just click it and it's it's already loose so I can I can move it next thing I have to do is I take wire I, I don't remember the size I think it's 1.3 millimeters but everything is mentioned in on the website on the Thingiverse when where you can read the right sizes of wires to be used with this clamp and what you do is you have to toggle the clamp to be locked and then you simply like uh, wiggle the wire inside might might need some twisting and you just uh, push it all the way through And once, once the wire is inside, you can just trim it with snips and you are ready to go. You can open it now and enjoy your newly created clamp. You insert the wires in here, just like the one before and click it. it it's a bit firmer when it's the new. and. It's good because it uh, gets maybe a little bit looser when you use it, but it, it remains okay even, even if I put thicker wire in it. You may see uh, this one had uh, like one millimeter wire in the terminal previously and it, it does not hold closed when there is no wire inside. But when I put uh, thinner wire, it's still good enough and the pressure uh, which holds the wire is uh, really strong. I, I'm really positive that this, this wire is not coming anywhere. So yes, it's almost fully 3D printable wire clamp, which can be populated on printed circuit board. Uh, so go print it and show me your remixes. There are surely lots of things which can be improved on this one. For example, uh, there should be some caps to cover the, the wires uh, to prevent shorting. Uh, maybe I would put some kind of funnel here to protect the the stripped wires from from being like broken to sides. And uh, I I actually don't think it's a good idea that this uh, this hole goes all the way through. I think that there should be some cap, but it should be really easy to fix this in the design. This is this is just like a proof of concept thing. So I wanted uh, everyone to be able to see inside. Also, also there is another hole which does not serve any electrical, electrical purpose, but I use it when populating on PC board just to provide uh, more mechanical, uh, mechanical contact. So it uh, sits really snugly on the board. And yeah, that, that's it. Uh, I actually printed a couple of them and I, I think not only it can be uh, it can be assembled on the PC board it can also be like uh, daisy chained when you when you put the bus wires all the way through several pieces you can connect it and create uh, 
create like b bigger blocks. And uh, this is useful because when you uh, when you have single clamp and you put uh, several wires with different uh, di different uh, uh, wire gauge to it, uh, the the thinner wire might not be properly uh, crimped or, or cinched. And yeah, so I I would suggest you to stick with single wire size, but s some slight variation should be okay. Uh, another thing to mention is that when you use single wire, you should preferably stick it to the middle hole and if you use two wires, use two side holes and when you use three wires, it's obviously use all three holes and you should be fine. So go try to print it and enjoy this connector.